This video will look at polymorphism. Now the word polymorphism means many forms and in object oriented programming it allows us to automatically do the correct behaviours even if what we're working with can take many different forms. Okay, so let's have a look to see what that actually means with an example. So think about the plus sign operator in Python. If you were to have the expression a plus b and you supplied a with the value 2 and b with the value 3 then the result would be 5. That add sign would add together those two numbers uh, numerically, mathematically, producing the result 5. If however we supplied uh, a with the string he and b with the string lo, then the result would be a concatenation. Okay, hello would be the result. So here you've got an example of the same sign um, producing the correct behaviours even with what they're working with takes different forms. So in the first case it's an integer and in the second case it's a string. So this is a built-in Python example of polymorphism but obviously we are dealing with object oriented programming at the moment. So the same operation results in different behaviours depending on what data type it's given and the same idea same operation, different behaviour, can actually be applied to classes and objects and I'll give you an example why now. Okay so think about the following situation imagine you've created a bank account class it has the attributes account name and balance you can deposit some money so there's a method for depositing and there is a method for withdrawing money and then imagine that you create a child class which is a savings account which inherits all of the stuff from bank account however it also has an interest rate so it'll actually override the deposit method perhaps by adding some interest over time and imagine you've got a current account as well which again inherits all of the attributes and methods but perhaps this one has a max withdrawal uh, value so that if they try to take too much money in one go then they'd have to phone the bank manager. So imagine this situation the savings account will slightly alter so override the deposit method by adding interest to any deposits made and the current account will slightly override the withdraw method by only allowing withdrawals under a certain limit. Okay so we're thinking about that situation we could now create lots and lots of different objects from these different classes and all of those objects are going to have the same two methods they're going to be able to deposit you're going to be able to call the deposit method and you're going to be able to call the withdrawal method these same methods will however all behave differently but exactly as intended the user or the programmer I should say doesn't need to know what class it's instantiated from they just need to know that the method will deal with the user's request in the right way and this is what polymorphism is. Okay? It allows us to automatically access the correct behaviours even if what we're working with can take many different forms. So here again we can use the deposit and withdrawal method on any of these objects that are created from these classes. We don't have to worry about what class, uh, what object we're working with. It will deposit money appropriately and withdraw money appropriately. So it's the same um, methods producing the correct behaviors but they might differ so let's have an example let's have a look at that example in Python okay so here I've created my bank account I have constructed two attributes account name and balance I've made them private and I've got two methods deposit and withdraw so deposit is just adding a value to the balance and withdraw is taking a value from that balance I've then created current account which will inherit all of the bank account attributes and methods however if you look at the withdrawal method it's actually been overwritten so here if I was to call the withdrawal method from any objects created from account uh, current account then it would check to see if the value that they want to withdraw is over a thousand pounds and if so it will make them phone the bank manager instead of just reducing that money from their balance and in the same way if we look at the savings account it's inherited all the same attributes and methods except it has overwritten the deposit method so here you can see that if they make a deposit it adds on three percent I create two objects let's have a little play around to see if these method calls are the same but result in different 
um, outcomes. Okay, so current account, savings account. Let's go to current account first of all. And let's deposit some funds. How much would I like to deposit? £100. Okay, it now says I've got £1,600. Let's go into the current account again. And let's say that I want to withdraw some funds. I want to withdraw £1,100. Okay, so it's validated that request. And it says that I'll have to phone the bank manager. Let's have a look at the savings account. If I want to deposit some funds, I want to deposit £100 again. Okay, so you can see it's added on 3% on top of my £100 that I've deposited. So that um, deposit method is slightly different from the deposit method that I used before. And if I now try to access the savings account again, and this time I want to withdraw some funds, let's say I want to withdraw £1,100 like I did before with the current account. I see what the result is if I use if I call this withdrawal method on my savings account. Okay, it takes that money out um, without any question. So here's an example. I'm going to have a look at the code of deposit and withdrawal methods being called on different objects. It's the same method, but results in different behaviours. Correct behaviours appropriate behaviors but definitely different behaviors. Let's have a look at another example of polymorphism. Here I've created a class called animal. It's got given a name and it's got a method that it can talk. I create a cat, cat class which inherits the animal um, attributes and methods but it overwrites the talk method. And it overwrites it by saying whatever the name is of the object that is created and then it follows it with the text says meow and the dog class does exactly the same it inherits the animal class but the talk method is overwritten instead of saying meow it says woof so if we were to run um, the code okay we'd create an object called animal and we get it to talk well if we call this method nothing will happen if we create a cat object and make the cat talk it should say missy says meow and if we call the dog method after creating the dog object, uh, sorry, not the dog method, if we call the talk method from our dog object, it should say the name of the dog, which is Rocky, followed by says woof. So let's see if this works. Okay, and it does. So this is an example of polymorphism.